All right, let's get started by popping off the front cover. Unplug and remove any cables attached to the print head. After taking off all the flex cables, take 1.75mm wrench and unscrew the cutters and extruder. Push the connector down and keep it pressed while you remove the Teflon tube. Here's a comparison between the original extruder and the new one. The upgraded extruder features a high conductivity metal. Now, we need to remove the original hot end. Next, we'll take apart the extruder assembly and pull out the parts we need from inside. To remove the original extruder, start by taking out these four screws. We'll need the screws, spring, and metal plate inside. The original extruder parts can be reused on the new extruder. We'll be offering two versions. One of them is a bare bones extruder shell, no extras included. The other version is a kit that comes with a hardened steel extruder gear. Then we'll remove the three screws on the front. There's one more screw on the back. However, the original extruder for the P1 isn't made of hardened steel. We recommend going with the hardened steel kit. Then, first install the pin, and then place the extruder gear inside. Now insert the bearing and the extruder wheel. Install the metal plate on the left side of the spring. Install the second bearing. Now, screw it back in. We're installing the flux heat hot end, and our water-cooled hot ends will work just as well. Now we'll switch the fan to the flux hot end. Then install the hot end to the extruder. Be careful not to press the wire when installing. Then install the screws to fix the hot end. Please use the screws that come with the package, not the original screws. Use a 1.75 hex wrench. Remember to tighten the screws. Now we're moving over the filament runout detect.
you can cut the tape to the right length. Then we align the extrusion motor gear and put it back in. Connect the interface of heating and temperature sensor. Then connect the fan. Install the cutter. Used, lift the blade slightly here so it can enter in the right position. We'll organize all the cables and hide them under the cover. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.